Hello everyone, welcome to my place. I tried to call my sister the other day, try to get some more information or something that I needed. And her phone rang three different times when I tried to call her. It is hard to believe Watchtower has destroyed the minds of these witnesses. Destroy their thinking ability, their reasoning ability, giving false information about the real truth from the Bible. I loved my sister just like everyone that who has friends, family that's still in this crazy religion. And I feel pain because there's nothing you can do. They are helpless because they don't want to see the truth about this dangerous cult. I had a video that I I went on a few times and it's about the family that was murdered by a Jehovah Witness man. Somebody left me a real nasty com comment and I'm just going to basically just use uh, different words that I don't know anything about really religion. No, I didn't when I was a Jehovah Witness. Everything that I learned was from them. That all religions was bad. We never study other religions except only few of their doctrines. So really, did I study a Catholic religion? No. Did I study the Latter-day Saints? No. What about the Mormons' religion? Yeah, I did. Because I had a couple Mormons came by. Well, actually, it was a friend of mine brought two Mormons over and we had a conversation and I try my best to stomach, <laughs> I mean really stomach the Book of Mormons. Everything they had in that Book of Mormons that it was pure garbage. I end up throwing this sucker into the garbage can. That's how bad it was. But I never studied my own religion because at that time we didn't have the knowledge of the older books. I never went into the library and picked some of the books out and read it. Watchtower. You don't give people a chance to pick if they want to be in your cult or your religion. Especially when some of these videos or these secret <coughs> hidden uh, cameras that people take in and they record audio and video of these uh, two or three men in the back room. You come up with a bunch of nonsense. Well, how come you didn't st uh, figure all this stuff out before you became a Jehovah Witness, before you got baptized? How in the heck we would have known about this? First of all, they had the internet. 
people didn't have like my mom didn't have all these older books from Charles T. Russell, Judge Rutherford. We didn't have all this stuff. And when we do go through your literature and find your truth about this false religion, then you, you get mad at us for doing research in your religion. All I gave my sister, just three numbers, two letters, and she, which she said, oh, I can do that on my, my smartphone. I said, Jehovah's Witnesses religion teaches that Jerusalem was destroyed in 607. Just Google 607 BC, see what happens. And then Google 587. BC. I said, then please tell me what you find. She put me on block again. Why is Jehovah's Witnesses put their brains on block? I don't understand why in the world it's so hard just listen to someone a family member or a friend why can't you just Google the information you got the internet right there at your fingertips I've been going through the Bible the way I normally do my, the Bible audio I love it I learned so much. The Bible can unprogram you, teach you the real truth. And all you have to do is read it or listen to it. And I'm not talking about using a Jehovah Witness silver sword. Bible. Now there is <clears throat> there is stuff in the in that book. We can't call it a Bible because it's not. In that book that woke me up in different stuff about Jerusalem, the Jews, and it proved to me that the lie that Jehovah's Witnesses, God chose Jehovah's Witnesses to replace the Jews. That's a barefaced lie. Now, you may call me a liar right now. I'm used to it, okay? But it's your problem when you can't take the Bible and read it. And see the truth for yourself. Now, who is more ignorant, me reading the Bible, or you not searching the truth in the Bible? That, see if you can come back on that one. And I lay other people know I have studied different religions too so it's simple to these days when you have the internet that's how I figure out that no religion has the real truth of the Bible it's just like I use car lot a salesman would do anything to sell a car and that's something well these false religions do they are doing exactly what Satan wants them to do one to serve a false Christ and a false God and reject the Jews 
and have hatred toward the Jews. And that's the reason why right now in Jerusalem they had so much problems. People starting fires. There's a lot of people who had their homes burned down. They getting people coming up to, to them, these Muslims, try to stab them to death, shoot them, because of hatred toward God's real people. And I know there's a lot of y'all going to leave a comment, those are not the real Jews. Well, the Six Day War, Six Day War to me, 1968 I think that almost four countries attacked the Jews and the Jews won a small group of people won against four countries that tells me right there that God and Christ had their hands protecting the Jewish people and you don't believe me, or don't you do the research on the Sixth Day War? And then you can come back and leave a comment saying that the Jews is not God's chosen people. When evidence and facts of that Sixth Day War prove God still treasure the Jewish people. I don't want people to fall into these dangerous cults. We all have to realize what the Bible really teach. Otherwise, we all are brainwashed in every single religion claiming to be the only true religion. People, the internet it's like a library of knowledge on any religion these days. Time is running out for all of us. We could be on the last hour, another three years, we could be on the last 30 minutes. How do you know you are in the real truth about your religion's teaching unless you get this information, what I'm trying to tell you. Don't be like the people on the outside of the ark in Noah's time. There wasn't usually the reasoning and the thinking. A normal man is not going to build a big giant boat in the middle of a field. And he's teaching the, the floods going to be coming and all that. No, anything today, someone's building something. Then they're stupid because the Bible says he will not ever flood the earth again. But those people was warned. So I'm trying to tell you if you don't change your ways and your thinking ability about your false religion. And I can't call it false because there's no good in a bunch of these religions. I study some of their teachings off the internet. 
So I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.